What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate. Reverse Ranch No Hate. Now, I told you guys already that the plan that the IBF is trying to put forth in motion is Anthony Joshua versus Philip Erkovich. I already heard the stuff about Otto um, Auto Wileen being number one contender. I've heard all of that. I understand what the initial plans were, which is why I said... Anthony Joshua, as you know, is the dude that I want to see win in the heavyweights. But it's crap the way it came about. It's boxing. It's what's been going on. It's the nonsense and type of the BS I've been talking about. Why do you think I, re I, referenced, it, I referenced it as BS? Because you can say, well, now, the only thing, like I said with the IBF, is yes, they did already allow the WBA to go first and do what they had to do. And that was with, you know, let go ahead and let Usyk and Dubois do their thing. And Philip Erkovich already said he's not going to wait again. Okay, I mentioned this stuff. I, I don't know where y'all think, some of y'all think I get this information from. Like, I'm not going to see him play a freaking video every time I hear something just so you guys know. Like, I don't have, I listen, I gain nothing out of sitting here making up stories. I told you guys, this is what, they already had set in motion was the Waleen fight, but that's not what they're trying to do. Why? Because Erkovich versus Anthony Joshua is going to get far more attention than Erkovich versus Otto, um, Otto Waleen. So when I tell you guys, popularity will put you in a position over another fighter. Now, I'm pulling for Anthony Joshua to win. Okay, but at the same time, if he was to win, then that means basically, let's say Usyk wins. Here's a third fight with Usyk. If Fury wins, then it's the first time with Fury. If this fight actually happens, because I don't even know, like, like Fury's just so full of nonsense. I, I, nothing's etched in stone with this guy. Okay, but I'm going to let you hear Eddie Hearn say what he has to say. Okay, I'm not going to play the Malik Scott video. I'm not going through all that. Eddie Hearn is going to say everything you need to hear. Okay, but Malik Scott is talking about they're frustrated because now it's like they've been looking for the AJ fight. No, you haven't been looking for no fucking AJ fight. All right, Wilder has been turning this shit down forever. And you got people talking about Eddie Hearn using Wilder's name um, just for clout. No, he didn't use Wilder's name. He didn't mention Wilder. The fucking interviewer brings Wilder's name up. And, and, and Eddie just addresses the situation. He doesn't spend any time talking about Wilder. How many countless times have they already sent this man offers? And he keeps turning the fucking offers down. Okay? They've even said that oh, the, 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 the negotiations don't even go through with them. Period. And Wilder and Finkel, on numerous occasions, have admitted that they've been getting, you know, that Eddie Hearn did reach out to them. So, I don't even, I'm not even here for that. I don't even care about that. Okay, I just want you guys to hear what Eddie Hearn has to say. Because people keep telling about Otto Wileen, oh, it's not AJ, it's not AJ. I don't care what you're saying. What you're saying makes sense. Yes, it's supposed to have initially been Wileen, but it's not Wileen now. So you're going to hear this. Like I said, I don't know where you guys think I get this information from, but I go to the source. I don't, I don't listen to other channels tell me something and say, this is what's happening. That's why when people ask me certain questions, I look at I look into the situation and the only thing that I'll get is something coming from a channel or two and then people start to pick up on it. Well, guess what? Now other people are aware about, you know, Anthony Joshua versus um, Philip Erkovich. That, that's the fight that, they get, that, that they're gunning for. And you, you're going to hear what Eddie Hearn has to say. So you guys make your own judgment on it. It is what it is. Okay, I've said all I need to say about that. I just want you guys to hear it from Eddie Hearn. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Years yesterday from Anthony Joshua's professional debut, we know that, I can't remember how long ago now, but he signed that lifetime contract with yourself and Matchroom Boxing. Just want to recap on the journey so far? Just been incredible. You know, I said it yesterday. We're all lucky to have enjoyed that journey. We're all thankful because I don't think anyone in this industry in Britain would be where we are without him. And that goes for every single person. Some people don't like to acknowledge that. It doesn't really matter whether you do or don't. We're very proud to have managed him, or promoted him, sorry, from his professional debut right to now. 
10 years of service and it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been a great relationship all round and I believe the best is yet to come, I really do. I think his most defining moments will come next year. And um, you know, you saw yesterday the IBF basically saying that he's going to fight Philip Hergovic for the world title. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. He is desperate to become a three-time world champion, and I believe he's going to do it. What do you believe Anthony's next fight is? Uh, we know talk about that December date. Um, picking up on that, what sort of opponents are we looking at? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, like I said, the news yesterday from the IBF changes things a little bit in the respect of, basically, the winner of Fury Usyk has to fight Philip Hergovic, or they'll be stripped. And they're not going to. They're going to make an AJ Hergovic? Yeah, that's the fight. And I believe that fight will happen for the potentially for the world title. And if it does, we have to look at that. We've got the Wilder fight. You know, there's a lot to think about. But that news certainly just changes things. The goal is to become a three division world champ, a three time world champion, and um, that would allow us to do that. That give you more intent to make and push for the Hergovic fight as opposed to the Deontay Wilder fight because of the landscape. I mean, look, the Wilder fight is much bigger the Hergovic fight comes with a world title that will always take priority but we'll have to see what plays out again we're only hearing that it's a two way rematch in Usyk Fury which is disappointing but we'll see